Okay, so it is Monday, uh, February 16th or 17th, I don't know. But anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video and just share some thoughts about uh, some things running through my mind here lately. Um, first of all, I, I find myself back from my trip to the South Island. All in all, it was a good trip. Uh, sand flies I didn't particularly care for. I'm still kind of scratching uh, different bites that I had from the sand flies. Um, I find myself in a city called New Lynn, N-E-W and an L-Y-N-N. -N. It's uh, not too, it's a suburb of Auckland. And I found a, a place to stay. It's charging me $250 per week, um, $1,000 per month. And uh, with, the, with the conversion, it's roughly about eight, $850 per month. Bargain, great place, uh, great place to stay. The, the home, you can see part of it behind me. Um, uh, internet is fantastic, very, very, very quiet, exactly what I need for, uh, for, for productive, putting in productive days of work. Um, I'm uh, renting here from a lady that uh, leaves in the morning, and uh, she comes back around uh, 5 o'clock at night, and uh, I just have total peace and quiet, so exactly what I need to, uh, to get in a good day's work. Um, Another thought that's been going through my mind is the situation with the uh, woman who I promised not to uh, mention her name. Um, you know, I, I, she's the primary reason that I came down here. And uh, I've done some uh, crazy things over the years when it comes to love. And uh, I'm not going to say that it was a crazy idea coming down here. Um, you know, I met her in Budapest and uh, there was a lot of chemistry back then. And, you know, it, as hard as love can be to find in, in this world, uh, you know, I thought I'd take a chance and come down and spend some time um, having the opportunity that I do as far as traveling. So uh, I'm losing hope that that's going to work. And um, without going into a lot of details, uh, out of respect for her privacy, um, it, 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 it saddens me uh, to think that, um, you know, that it, that it may not work. I haven't totally thrown the idea of it working out the window yet, but uh, it's, it certainly hasn't been without its, its challenges. And um, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. The interesting thing about the situation with her is that for the first time in my life, not first time in my life, <laughs> first time in the last several years, um, I've actually found myself being able to say I love you to a woman. And, and uh, it's not that I haven't had some great women in my life, because I have. Um, it's just that uh, the, the women that I've dated since the last time I was in love, I just didn't see a future with them. And uh, for a lot of reasons, just circumstances, um, I, didn't, I didn't or couldn't see a future with them. And, and when I say I love you, it's like, you know, I want to be with you all my life. And, uh, and unless I can see a future, then, um, then that's just really tough. Uh, another thought is that last night I went to see the movie Saving Mr. Banks, and it's the story of Walt Disney and uh, his wanting to make the movie Mary Poppins based on a book of an author from, uh, from England or Australia. And um, what struck me about that movie and what struck me about Walt Disney was that Walt Disney was a visionary. He could see something. He could, he could read that book, and he had this idea. He had this vision for what he wanted. And as it turned out, his vision was was wonderful. It's 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 a classic film, but he couldn't he couldn't take that vision. It was challenging for him to share that vision with the author of the book. And uh, when it comes to to this gal who I promised I wouldn't mention her name, um, I have such a clear vision in my head of, of of a life that we could live together. And it'd be a fantastic life. It would just be, you know, I mean, uh, with, with God's graces, it would just be an incredible life that we could share together. But she, um, you know, I, I, I'm having a hard time uh, having her see the same vision. So, you know, uh, life, doesn't, um, life doesn't always give you what you want. And, uh, and this may be, may be one of those situations for me. But uh, maybe one day I'll meet a woman who uh, will believe in, in my vision enough that uh, will be willing to take a chance. But um, anyway, so, uh, so now I find myself, I've got about two more months. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go to Australia. I booked a one-way ticket to Australia, and I leave on the 10th. So I've got the better part of uh, three weeks here. 
in, in New Zealand, and then I go over to Australia, and I'll be there for, uh, I don't know, I could be there as few as two or three weeks, maybe six weeks, um, who knows, but uh, I want to go to Melbourne, I want to go to Sydney, and I want to see the Gold Coast, so that is, uh, that's definitely something that I'm looking for, um, looking forward to, I should say. And then uh, final thought is about doing these videos. You know, it's um, I'm getting more and more comfortable in, in so far as talking to a talking to a camera, if you will. And uh, I was thinking the other day that uh, one of the things I like about doing these videos is it's it's a way of chronicling my life, and uh, not only chronicling my life but chronicling the lives of others. A uh, perfect case in point would be my father. As wonderful of a man as he is, um, the idea of doing these videos and, and making them uh, something that will be viewed for, you know, hopefully hundreds and hundreds of years uh, by generations of my family to come, um, they'll be able to see, you know, what, what, uh, what a great man he was. Um, and uh, so, and, and other people that I, that I come in contact with, you know, I'm also chronicling, you know, albeit small portions of their life, I'm still chronicling their, their life, so to speak. So that's all well and good. And, and I get comments from people just out of the blue that they love my videos. So that serves as inspiration. Um, I, a good friend of mine named Roman, uh, well into his 70s, Roman is writing a book on his life and over the years I found that uh, I've come across a lot of men who have this propensity to want to document their life. They, they get up there in years and they feel that their life is worth sharing and they want to they want to write a book um, and uh, that's all well and good but you know with the internet I always think you know work smarter not harder and uh, and you know to me I could write a book about my life if I wanted to but I can also do videos and uh, that's my way of, of doing videos, uh, or that's my way of documenting or chronicling my life. And if I can share it with people in the process, that's great. And uh, the other thing that I was thinking was that um, I used to write a journal. I used to do an online journal called Europe with a Smile. I think you can still read the stories there, EuropeWithASmile.com. And when I was doing that, I was uh, probably in my mid-30s. And I was a prolific writer. I would travel and I would just write. And uh, the people used to just love reading my, my words. And what, what started to become a challenge for me was, and Roman and I were discussing this the other day, was when you're writing, it's hard to not want to just be completely honest and, and share your thoughts and feelings. And, and sometimes you can't do that because of, uh, <clears throat> out, of, out of respect of somebody else's privacy or somebody else's feelings. Etc. So I find that a little bit uh, I find that a little bit challenging because I would love to do these videos and just you know let it all hang out there, but uh, but I, I I'm not quite at that uh, quite at that point yet. But anyway, I've got a full day of work ahead of me, and uh, hope uh, hope everyone that watches these videos is is doing well. I see the uh, the weather back there, uh, California suffering the drought. And uh, the the East Coast and the South just getting hammered by uh, by a cold, cold winter. I just cannot even imagine what uh, day to day life would be like under those um, under those conditions. So uh, anyway, that's all from now for down down under. I did upload a video that'll come out tomorrow. Um, somebody sent me a, a, an email asking me if I would do a video just telling how it is that I'm able to do what it is that I do, and um, I don't think he was talking about uh, making pizza, but uh, <laughs> I think he was talking about doing my videos or traveling, traveling the world as I do. So that uh, that'll be published tomorrow. Have a great day. Okay, bye bye.